I thought I'd do a little video about the inside of my camper for the folks who are curious about what's in one of these truck campers. Uh, disclosure here, I do have this on a wide angle view, so it it's going to look a little bit more spacious than it really is, but it's pretty spacious. Um, I've got a table here that I have a leaf I could put in to make it longer. Uh, that one bench seats uh, two people, and then this other bench seats one. Um, when you walk in the door, I'm standing in the in the footwell here, you come on in, and uh, the table's on the right. The bathroom, which might be a little bit of a mess, is on the left here. It's a kind of thing where the shower, well, the shower head's under that washcloth, which was there to dry, so it's called um, a wet shower, or a wet bath, I think they call it, uh, meaning that if you take a shower, you're going to get the whole room wet, so... That is a drawback, but it's got a toilet and a 30 gallon tank for waste and a little sink and medicine cabinet. Um, over here is my kitchen. Um, I've got a two bin sink. One bin is bigger than the other. I've got a little drying rack that I set up over there. I've got a three burner stove with an oven, which are very hard to come by these days. I've made some improvements like the little hooks in the back for my uh, plastic spatulas and things. Above that, I've got a microwave, which only works if I'm plugged in or if I'm running um, a, a, the generator. And it's an 1800-watt microwave, which is idiotic, but that's what they put in here. And uh, my generator is only 2000 watts, so it's kind of a, a push if I'm going to use it. Um, this is a control panel here. It lets me turn on the water heater, the water pump. Um, it will allow me to check the levels of my um, different tanks. Uh, however, it stopped working, so it, now it shows everything is empty. And then this thing here shows me my battery levels, which are looking pretty good, uh, considering I have not run the generator. Uh, the solar panels are working. Um, over here, I've got a clothes closet, a little bit cramped, but it does the job, has a light in it. And then this great thing, this is my pantry, which slides out, and I can hold a lot of stuff in there. Um, I've got more cabinets down below, a drawer for silverware and whatnot, a drawer for my pots and pans, under cabinet, under sink storage, cleaners and whatnot. Um, let's see. Then over here, well, I've got my fridge, which is a really good size fridge, separate freezer up top that will make ice, that will keep things frozen and freeze things if they're not frozen when you put them in there, and a fridge, and I'm not opening it because it's a disaster area in there, and you never know what's going to fall out. Um, over here, there's another cabinet, and then there's these shelves, which are a complete disaster. Um, those are something that I built for that space. There was nothing in there, and it was a dumb space, so I built these shelves that have kind of a lip on them. I could put things in, and they don't slide around in transit, and that is a mess. I also use this for a charging station. I've got a DC outlet and an AC outlet there. I know they're both plugged in, but I don't have AC power running. I do not have an onboard inverter which is what I would need to get uh, AC power. Uh, so it's just plugged in. Uh, but right now the DC one is doing all the work and it's charging uh, this little light thing right now. Another view of the table. Uh, I've got lamps. I've got overhead storage there. This is huge storage. And what's kind of weird about this is that that whole uh, front part panel will fold down and then that turns it into like a bunk for very small children. Um, it would, it's not something that I use for that purpose. I keep it um, all uh, st stuck up there. If I wanted to drop the side down, it will double my storage up there, but then I need a net to hold everything in place. Not worth it. Um, out the back door, you can see I have a screen door. It's closed right now. I put some shelves up. Um, hooks and shelves are the way to go in something like this. You got to be able to secure your stuff. I have an air conditioner, uh, which again only works if I'm plugged into AC power. I've got a queen size bed. I keep my hamper over here. Um, it's out of the way of my feet. It's like right off the edge of the bed. Uh, the dog's bed is up here. And then I have these boxes for storage of uh, clothing, like my socks and underwear and t-shirts and, and whatnot. That's all up here. Uh, there is more storage here. I've got linens up there next to Miss Minutes. And then on this other side, I've got uh, books. I've got a stereo. Um, I've got a TV, which right now is strapped. I, it, it's an AC TV, but I do have an, a little mini inverter that'll work to run it, but it just sucks power, so I really don't use it. Um, the stereo will play compact discs. This is a 2007 camper, so what do you expect? And then up top there is my solar um, 
controller. And right now it's showing that I'm at 13 volts, which is pretty good because when I woke up this morning, I was at 12.4. Uh, and since then I have been running the heater, which you might hear running right now, and the water pump and uh, other things that use up power. So it's charging my, my uh, batteries. Got some speakers in here. It's got a stereo, it's got outside speakers as well. And then I've got this honking huge sunroof, uh, which I can leave open. Um, it's got, pl it's a plastic top. Um, then I've got either a screen I can run across it or a shade. And that's basically my camper. Um, I have the longest I've ever lived in this was about two and a half months. And, uh, you know, when you've got stuff outside, I, you know, I set up chairs outside. Um, I have a barbecue grill I set up outside, things like that. It really isn't that bad. It's a little chilly this morning, so I am in. Uh, but when it heats up outside, I'll probably put a chair out there and hang out there with my pups. Um, we already went for a little hike this morning and uh, life is good. So that's my camper.